Hello, we're Team Saving Walter. My name is Diony Severino. I'm Ryan Cooper. I'm Mike Patron. I'm Sean Foley. And I'm Ben Wetzel. And we'd like to introduce to you our game, Divine Intervention, Battle Demons with the Powers of Gods. So what exactly is Divine Intervention? Divine Intervention is a cooperative tabletop game set in the Esfar universe, also known for stories like The Misenchanted Sword. Uh, we decided to take a look into the struggle between two different magical ideologies or magical sects in this uh, universe, being demonology, the study of demon magic, uh, demonic rituals, packs, such and such, and theurgy, divine magic, uh, divine rituals, connections with various gods and various faiths. The players of the game are theurgists, who are currently attempting to battle demonologists at a uh, ritual site, as they are attempting to summon demons into the realm, and the theurgists, of course, wish to stop this. So our game requires two to four players. Uh, this factors into some of the balancing that we have, uh, since a lot of the numbers change with how many players there are in the game. Uh, which can add for some interesting gameplay at different levels, uh, depending on how many players you have. Uh, so what players are going to be doing for most of the game is going around to the various rooms in the, are on the board and collecting artifacts from those rooms. Uh, these artifacts will be used then to summon gods and gain their powers through boon cards, which are set aside in a deck, which the players draw from to get these powers. Uh, players roll for their rituals to try and get more powerful or more varied boons, uh, but sometimes could fail depending on how their roll goes, since uh, Theurgy is a very finicky magic and doesn't necessarily work every time. Uh, players can then use these godly boons that they get in assisting them to banish or battle the demons uh, from the realm that the demonologists are summoning. Uh, demons have various abilities that hinder the players uh, as they are being summoned, and the gods that the players summon also have uh, various abilities that, when they are summoned, uh, will help the players. Uh, players win once they have defeated three demons, or they lose when their party health is annihilated by the demon that they are trying to banish. So a lot of things went right in our actual game itself. For one thing, the Ashtar Wiki provided us with enough information to make a game, but left a lot of things empty for us to mold how we want our game to work in the universe of Ashtar. So we made it out so it's um, after the event of one great war, that's called the Great War, that happened sometime before all this, that had a battle between the gods and the demons at the very end. This was sort of a reference to it, but also its own thing. So we were allowed to work with the source material in a fantastic way. The art, I cannot say enough, was fantastic. I cannot thank our artist enough. And... Our balancing and how we managed to make scavenging and a little bit of combat worked very well, and the randomness provided to be very fun at a lot of moments. Naturally, of course, some things did go a little wrong. For one thing, the combat, which we will mention in, the, in a little while, felt a little lackluster at some points. Sometimes it felt that there was too much chance and not enough ability to carve out your own path. And uh, external playtesting admittedly was less than we initially intended, but we still have enough playtesting results to come up with a very, very fun product. Overall, our team had a really good workflow. We always were on time for meetings. We had them quite often as well, at least twice, maybe even three times a week. We were always listening to each other's ideas, and we were... There was a lot of constructive criticism going around. Uh, we always got the work done as soon as possible. As soon as we knew we had to do something, we got right on it. There wasn't and mu there wasn't much arguing within the group. There was almost no problems between the team members. A uh, few things that we could have improved on. Our meetings weren't very long. 
They only lasted about an hour, hour and a half each time, mostly just including a play test and working on a few things. Uh, also, we didn't manage to get as many external play tests as we wanted to. Uh, I was mentioned in the previous slide, but it's something that we should probably should look for next time. Last, looking to the future, uh, if we were to continue this, we'd want to add even more god cards and godly boon cards to add some variety to the playthroughs, uh, as well as create new demons. Um, right now, there are only a handful of demons, and so adding that would create more interesting and varied uh, games so that you don't get the same couple of demons every single time. We also do a better uh, job at revamping the combat. We went through a couple different stages of, of testing out combat, um, and I, we don't think that we have settled on the perfect solution, so we're hoping to get there in the future. Lastly, we'd hope to make the scavenging and ritual phase more engaging for the player and not just uh, going around doing the same thing every time. Well, that's it for this presentation. We hope you enjoy our game.